Hey, hi, hello, friendos. So today I'm doing another Q and Yay, um, which is a really cheesy name, but I'm adorable like that, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, so I asked these questions like literally six weeks ago and never made a video on them. And sorry, I'm doing it now. <laughs> so um, I made a post on my fan Instagram, asked people to ask me a couple questions and I decided to go through them today. <laughs> Um, so the first one was two people asked a similar question, so I'm just gonna combine it, and it's Kpop Angel28 and X Hey It's KX, and they both basically asked if I had a day with Jack Septiguy slash Sean, what would I do? Um, which would be awesome. Who wouldn't love to spend a day with the green beam, the green lightning? <laughs> um, Jackaboy. Um, I guess my dream day with him, if I got to spend the whole day, um, I would love to go with, to coffee because he loves coffee, I love coffee, that would be awesome. So we'd get coffee, hang out, talk, we'd like talk about all we have in common because I feel like me and him have a lot in common. I would just ask him about like his life and his day and what he's up to for the rest of the week and just like kind of get to know him as a person because obviously the goal would to be become, to become his best friend. So if I had a day with him, I would spend that whole day trying to become his best friend. Um, and then, I don't know, we'd probably hang out, play video games, watch his favorite movies, and then after, talk about them, because I know he has a lot of emotions when he talks about movies. Who doesn't? Movies are awesome. And then we'd get sushi, because I love sushi, and he loves sushi. I don't know, and then just like hang out and chat. Like, I wouldn't want it to be anything big, because I just want it to be like a relaxing day. He works too hard, so I would let him relax. Um, the next question is from Jacksepticeye is my life with underscores of spaces and they asked would you rather go to PAX West or East and why? Personally both are accessible for me because I live in the United States and I'd rather go to PAX West just because it's smaller and like less people go to that one and Jack and Robin and a bunch of people have said that's their favorite because it's smaller. Um, so I'd, I'd ideally like to go to a smaller con because I'm an introvert and I don't love huge crowds, believe it or not. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be able- I'm, okay, also, side note, I'm trying to go to PAX. Don't know if it's going to happen, so like, don't get your hopes up. I don't have my hopes up yet either. But I definitely won't be able to go to PAX West because my cousin's wedding is that weekend. And I'm definitely not going to miss my cousin's wedding just to go to PAX. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try to go to PAX East. Either one would be awesome because Jack will be there, hopefully. I hope he's not touring during PAX because if he's touring during PAX, I won't get to meet him and then I'll sell him forever. Technically, I'd rather go to West, but either one would be awesome. Um, Lainey IDK asks, what would you do if the whole world was listening to you for 10 minutes and you have to say something to change the world? I don't think I would be able to change the world in 10 minutes, I don't really think anyone can, but I would really probably focus on like working to preserve our planet because regardless of all of the human catastrophes that can end the world, um, the worst thing we could do was kill the earth and that's what we're doing and that breaks my heart so I would really focus on letting people know that like global warming is real happening it's going to destroy this planet if we don't do something about it and it's really important to take care of our planet because there is no planet B we just have this one there are no others that we know of that we can survive to survive on or get to so take care of the one that we have Cyan Al asks what is your dream job slash what career do you plan to have in the future Okay. My dream job would be to be an author, to write fictional novels and to get them published and to have people love them and love the stories that I tell and love the worlds that I create. That would be ideal and that's honestly what I'm constantly working on all of the time. I've been writing since- I've been writing forever, but I've been really working on this one novel since I was 13 years old and I'm still working on it. So hopefully one day that I can get it to where I like it and get it published. Um. But the career I plan to have in the future is something in 
media. Um, I would love to be a social media manager for a company or just work for a media company, either writing for them or managing accounts or working on advertising or anything like that. It would be super cool to work for any major media company. Um, and that's definitely a stepping stone on my way to eventually becoming an author and being able to support myself through that. Um, Dr. Zoidberg101 asks, what was the most embarrassing moment of your entire life? And if you don't have one, then I don't know. And I know I have embarrassing moments. Everyone has terribly embarrassing moments. Most of mine have to do with like foot in the mouth situation where you speak before you think and you end up embarrassing yourself or worst of all, embarrassing others. Um, so usually it's along those lines. I say something absolutely ridiculous and everyone is like, what the heck is, why, what? Or um, I just like say something like not very nice without thinking about the effects that it'll have and that's obviously super embarrassing and haunts me forever. So um, those are usually my most embarrassing moments and there isn't one that like super sticks out, but um, they're all usually related to stuff like that. Jake Speller says, what would you do if you had one wish and why? So all of you who says, wish for more wishes, that's cheating. You have one wish, one. I'd wish that my parents would have enough money that they can both safely retire and not have to work for the rest of our lives and live in comfort. That's what I'd wish for because we struggle with money sometimes and I really want my parents to be able to have enough money to live on without having to work every day for all of eternity. <laughs> So I would want them to be happy and to be able to retire and relax, because they deserve it. Um, and then another one of my friends, Jack Smallbean, told me that I should do a video of my five favorite movies. And while I might do a video talking about all of that one day, I'm just going to start by listing off my five favorite movies. This is just spur of the moment too, I haven't even thought about this, so this is just me like jumping right in, listing them off. And they're mainly like comfort movies. Like these are the movies that I can go to and I can watch all the time and love. So I'm gonna say Pride and Prejudice 2005. I can watch that movie. I never ever get sick of it. I love it so, so much. Um, not one that I have ever rewatched, but Dead Poet Society made a huge impact on me. And I was like, whoa, this is an amazing movie. Breakfast Club, love The Breakfast Club. I can rewatch that a bajillion times. It's my favorite like 80s movie. I love it so much. Disney, we're gonna say Beauty and the Beast because I always turn to that movie when I'm feeling sad and I want something to cheer me up. And then I'm gonna say the fifth Star Wars movie because I have watched that movie and can literally quote almost every line from it because I love it so much. The fifth Star Wars is the best Star Wars and you can fight me. Those are my five favorite movies. If you like any of them, let me know because we can fangirl about them together and it'll be a really fun happening. Um, but yes, that's all the questions I have today. If you have any more questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments, tweet them at me, DM me on Instagram, do whatever your heart pleases. I will collect them all and do another one of these, but thank you for joining me on another Q&A. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, tap that like button and leave some comments if you want. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Cheers.